Okay, guys, I didn't realize I didn't pause the last video. I guess I stopped it. So I'll have to put these two together. Um, but. <laughs> well, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show him. Look, this is Ruru. Ruru's. Ruru. This is my sweet boy. Here's, we just did chicken of the week with him. I turn around and see Okay, so let's see if I can do this without Julie on my shirt. <laughs> I can put it up on the Okay, so um we just did chicken of the week. Um and I'm like <laughs> I've got him standing on my ottoman and I've got my laptop on my ottoman, so that's why I'm like squatted down here. And uh we did uh our taste test today. We've done um uh, we've done our birthday stuff. Uh, probably still have a few stories to do. What time is it? It is 11.03. Uh, so we still are going to be on for another probably hour. hour. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I, careful, I have my mouse up there. Um, and anyway, so he was, he was actually, he was a lot. Oh, really? Knocked it down again. Now the sun is in our eyes. Um, I've got to fix that curtain. It's got to be a better, there's got to be a better, <laughs> yeah, better <laughs> option than that. He has this magnetic curtain rod and like, see, I have to like cover the curtain. He has this magnetic curtain rod that blocks out the sun. And so, so this is, this is Mr. Ruru. This is a sweet boy. He's my sweet boy. Yes, he is. Yes, you are. Do my sweet boy. Yes, you are. Oh. And he just flew and jumped onto the um, laptop. So, come here. Come here. Come here, Lily. Come here. Come here. He's not going to come here. And you he can't see anything. Okay. Well, uh, I will pause this one and then we'll come back. <laughs> okay. We're back. Curtains back up. Um, so, you know, today's been a, a pretty good day, rested yesterday and, uh, had like a movie day. So we wouldn't have to, uh, uh, so I wouldn't, you know, he, he was feeling kind of under weather, under the weather. I was feeling kind of under the weather. So we got that, uh, uh, rest day in and I think we both, needed it. Um, I need to do some laundry today, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but, um, yeah. Um, I am drinking my green juice now because my, uh, uh, took my medicine this morning and, um, it starts to like wear off with all the adrenaline that we use on the show and the green juice helps. So, Yes. So we're waiting for Daddy to take him outside because I'm gonna make sure that. Do you uh, do you have anything you want to chat about? On what? On. On the right. Oh no no no! I'll wait for you. Okay, so I'll wait for you. this will be one more song to go. So. Okay. Uh, I'll do uh, Dixie Chicks after this one for you. Dixie Chicks. That'll work. This is just happened to be coming up. So. Oh. Okay. You want me to let, leave him outside? Just I let just him run outside? I just hate this boy. He's just so annoying. You want me to let him run outside? Or put him in yes, skin? no. Take him to his spot by the fencing, fence line. Uh -huh. where the, anyway, so he has, you know, he's a, I have a lot of roosters. So each rooster has kind of like their own area. I will try really hard not to have the, the bangs crazy. <laughs> I just have this bang that goes like this all the time. And I can just see 
um, my cousin Melinda going, girl, <laughs> get rid of, fix those bags. <laughs> Bruce's cousin. I claim her. Um, anyway, so, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Each of the roosters has their own little, their own little spot. <laughs> There's crowing in the background. Each of the roosters has his own little spot. And so they kind of, they get, they manage. I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, you can't have, you know, more than one rooster. Yes, you can. You can have actually quite a few. Um, they learn to, some of them work together in a system and uh, some of them just kind of pick their own little area and then they kind of stay within their own little area. And so that works. Um, so uh, what else? Let's see. We had Alex joined us with the uh, taste test, which was fun because it's, it's, it's kind of neat to get Alex on the radio. Um, here's my husband. You turn the, why are you doing that? It's not hot. It's not cold in here. It's not? Okay. Are you cold? Well, I just didn't want to get too cold in here. Too cold no, because if it's cooler, I feel like passing out less. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's supposed to stay cooler okay. rather than well, that's not a good sign. But that's so no, good. no, no, no. I'm not. I'm good. Not like I told you, I've got my, I've got my nasty, ugly looking green juice. Look at that. That is green, baby. That is some green juice. There you go. <laughs> I'm going direct from the consumer. But I, uh, are you really? Well, I've got two other ones for you. Oh, you, huh? There's another one in there? Uh -huh. Oh, so you got me, you got me two and you got you one. Well, I got you those other ones, and I got two of these. So one for me, one for you, and the other ones are for you, too. Oh, the one in the refrigerator is still from the last time, then. Correct. Okay. But, yeah. What other two minutes? So. Dixie Chick song on the radio right now. How long do we have? Oh, we still have a while. About two minutes. Um, anyway, so the green juice really helps. If you have autoimmune stuff... Um, this one right here, I put, um, the green juice that he has, and then there's this other one that's got, um, like either pineapple or orange juice, depending on which bottle. Um, one has pineapple, um, cactus and celery. The other one has orange juice, cactus and celery. They're really good. You can't really, the, the celery, it's not, I mean, that you can taste the celery. But it's really good. You can tank the whole thing. I mean, it's it's like easy, easy peasy. Um, but probably that has a lot of pineapple juice and a lot of orange juice in it. Um, but anyway, so I drink this, and this will actually get me through. Um, this will actually help. So I don't have to uh, take another uh, pill. Hopefully. Um, and then today I will, gosh, I, I hope I can do some laundry because I have like no pajamas, <laughs> no pajama pants. And I work, my life is pajama pants. I need to actually repair a stack of about 13 pajama. That's what I should do today. I should repair pajama pants today. You need to mark that sucker because you're drinking straight out of the bottle and I do not want to touch that after you uh, have backwashed in well, it. Well, mine's always in the same spot in there, so. Well, but you need to put your name on it, like with a pen good. or wrap it with something or do yeah. something. I don't want to drink that. That's gross. Okay, are we bad on? Almost? 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Um. Oh, oh sorry. I'm going up with the mic, so. Okay, so he's going up. I have to be quiet. I don't care what people say about political views and the Dixie Chicks. We stay away from politics. I just like their music. So I do too. I don't care. I like Dixie Chicks, and I don't. Um, I don't think anybody cares about that anymore. I don't think anybody goes there. I mean, because everybody has a political opinion now. Yeah, so it's also like put them on the back <clears> burner <throat> with their political views. So, so okay, yes. so uh, uh, Jack was talking about he went to Texas Dance Hall, had a lot of uh, stars. He saw. Mel Tillis, Ronnie Millsap, and a few others out there. He saw Sylvie, Sylvia Bellamy Brothers and Steve Warner at Blue Bonnet Palace. And he caught uh, Johnny Paycheck at Crystal Chandelier. Oh, wow. Johnny Paycheck. Wow. Very cool. That is cool. 
Uh, Instead of more cowbell, we can ask for more crowing. <laughs> that more crowing, crowing is loud, isn't it? It was, it was like he, he was, was on a mission, like, man. He was he was standing down there like I am in here by myself. I am going to crow. <laughs> It was funny. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's such a cutie. Once again, a good pick for you this morning. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a cute. And, and a not so good pick for me this morning. When I uh, we, we, first we did the uh, the pedigree and the uh, the refried beans comparison. Yeah. Basically, if you heard her story of how that came about. Yeah. Uh, so I'm fixing my coffee this morning, <laughs> and uh, get, I don't have coffee that often right now. I'm starting to get more into it. Well, it's, it's, it's when it's cold, he'll have coffee, but otherwise he'll have well, like I'll something have cold yeah, instead, of, some, instead of that. Yeah, some, some tea or something. But um, So I put all my ingredients in. I usually put you know the hot chocolate in first, and then I'll put some salt, some sugar, some cinnamon, uh, possibly some turmeric, and a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. uh, so you I, said salt. I did say salt. I was uh, um no, I guess maybe a little pumpkin spice. We haven't mentioned pumpkin spice, not even the word this morning yet. So. Pumpkin spice, and the other one you're thinking of is uh, uh, like cinnamon and the Cloves. clove. Yeah, I'll put clove in this morning. So, okay, so I'm, I'm putting my additives in. And then your chocolate. Yep. Okay, you so probably said that. I did. Uh, so I'm putting, I'm putting my uh, my additives in. I take the lid off the cinnamon. We're going like, oh, crap, we lost lost the sprinkle lid to it. Where did it go? So now I'm going to have to just kind of just do this by eye. So I put, it, I, I put it in there, and I put the lid back on, put it in the, in the uh, cabinet, and then I'm spinning the Lazy Susan around. And, like, and, then oh, I, and I'm getting dressed, and I hear, oh, man. <laughs> then, then I actually see the real cinnamon up there. I'm going, well, what the heck did I put in there? And I look, and it's like Camino. I'm going like, <laughs> you oh. Like, but you like Camino. Well, nothing like a little chili-flavored coffee. <laughs> Camino. I don't you think, love Camino. I know. I know. Oh, you might like it here. I'm not able to give it a try. <laughs> It's like drinking, so like, drinking the chili broth. No, no. So he's like, fortunately, it uh, you know, it landed in a clump. So I was able to just like scoop out the clump. Did you taste any Camino in your coffee None at whatsoever. all? Good, good, good. None whatsoever. Good. But uh, you know, it, it happens. You know, when you get the same organic brand of everything, you gotta see. Sure mine that is always is all a different color. Yeah. Well, mine is always like I'm just gonna put a little bit of oh, you know, the clove just like completely dumps in there and. Clove, you can't have a whole lot of clove in coffee. Okay, so it's there's too much. So when you're looking at some of these things in there and you're putting them in there, like the cinnamon, mm -hmm. you got to turn it upside down. You got to pat it ten times <laughs> to get it to go in. And then you do the clove, and it's the like clove, the clove thing has got a, a got a quarter inch, got like six quarter inch holes yeah. in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Usually, when, when it's like that, I'll I'll like I'll dump like a little crumbs of it in my hand and put it in. And oh. see, then I put nutmeg in mine in my coffee, but our nutmeg right now is from um, the the solid nutmeg where you have to, you have to yeah whatever they call it the uh, yeah whatever anyway where you 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 have to run it across the the little planer thing mm -hmm. I forget what you what, call that thing okay come on here. Jack um, Megan and Wendy y'all gotta tell me what <laughs> what are those different those, things called it's made? it's in my head but I can't think of it and um anyway so we had you know like you you do that and then after a while you get to a point where you can't use that little nutmeg ball on anything because it's too small so I took it and I put it in the little the little uh, coffee. coffee grinder but it didn't grind it to a powder form because those balls are so big you know yeah. it Okay, oh, <laughs> don't go there. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> and um, so, uh, so what I have to, <laughs> so what I have to do, <laughs> they didn't hear that on the tape. Um, so what I have to do is I have to take it and put it in my little um, um, mortar pestle thing, you know. And oh, is that, that what you call that's it? That's a tough one. What is that? Is that what it's called? Oh, the little, the little. Uh, the little like, Man, like, I can't think of anything oh, today. Like in, the, like in Stone Age, where they used yes. to put this thing in there with the. I don't yes. Know they, I don't know what they call it. I think your question may have been answered right okay, there. Okay, here we go. Let's I see. see. Phone, I see your phone light up. There's always something that somebody. Here. What's what called? Oh. <laughs> you know when you have like. A, uh, let's see. Let's see if Jack answered. Um, like gra well, greater, greater, but it's but it's, it's not, but it's greater. it's called something else. There's another oh, one. This is, oh yeah, the one we have is just like it's like a mini. It's like a real small. What is the one. what is the long the long the greater 
for like um, um, seasoning, it, but it's a long one. Yeah, and you take. And I can't remember what it's called. It makes it into like a powder form. Yes, and then um, and then the other thing is the the um, the the little thing where you. You, you put the stuff in and then you grind. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. Uh, I can't and you, you grind it up and um, okay. um anyway, so we'll I'll have to, we'll I'll have to zester. Soon. It could be mortar and pestle and zester. Yeah. Um, so I might be right. Uh, a lemon that. zester, yeah, yeah, that that could be what it's called. It could be a wall of it, it seemed like it was called something else though too. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I, you know, I have to do that in the, in the little, the mortar and pestle thing, you know, yeah. kind of like grind up the little crumbs into mm -hmm. like a powder, but then it's like stuck in oh, there. Yeah, you have to and then you have to, powder. you, then you have to take like a knife or a spoon. You have to like scrape it out because it's like stuck to it. And so, yeah, microplane, Micro, that might be it. Yeah, micro something. Or micro that waste. might be it. Okay. So, work. yeah. Uh, let's see. I had some yes, that's it. Here Microphone. Okay. Uh, tonight on the uh, on the Rock Channel on uh, the Rock Vault not US, I'll be doing the uh, Flip Side Fridays at nine o'clock tonight, and our album, at least my, my first one. I, think, I may just do this one only tonight. But uh, if you can remember back in the seventies. If you live in the New Braunfels, San Antonio area, there was a band here called Revolver. Long story short, the uh, Randall Reeves and the album somehow on my Facebook page resurfaced. And uh, I, I thought it would be kind of cool to play that one all the way through tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. And except I've got one song on it when I was listening to them the other night that the it's playing, but there's no... I hear, I hear it playing, but there's no noise coming out kind of thing. So i got to figure out what's wrong with that last song. But that's what I'm going to do this evening. So those fans of Revolver back in the 70s, or a fan of Randall Reeves here in town, that's what I'm going to be doing. So this is the first day that I've, I've mentioned it. So I'll, I'll put it on Facebook uh, as well. So if you want to hear that, hear some memories in the making, that's what's going to be on tonight, 9 o'clock on the Rock Vault. You can listen online. Obviously, you can get our uh, phone app download out of your apps section. And uh, just ask the Echo Dot to play it for you. Say, Echo Dot, no, you want to say the Alexa. Uh, <laughs> play the Rock Vault. You have a story for that one, too. You have a story for that one, too. We'll do that here in just a bit. So, like, I'm looking up this mortar and pestle thing. Because, you know, it sounds weird when you say mortar and pestle. You imagine that, like, a kitchen uh, spice thingy is going to be, it's going to have some fancy name to it, but it doesn't have a fancy name to it. Um, but, you know, I don't know how I ever lived without one of those before I went to, we went to World Market, and we got them at World Market. I have two sizes. I have a tiny one and I have a bigger one. And I use it a lot for the chickens um, when you like dry an herb or something, you know, dry like, um, um, like, um, oh, what's the one that's really, really good for them that I got from candy at the, um, I got the, the Mexican sage. No, not the sage. The other one, the, the Italian season. The oh, uh, oregano? oregano? Yes. Okay. Oregano. So like I take, I'll take the oregano and I'll dry it and then I'll crumble it into the, the, the little mortar and pestle thing. And I'll just kind of, you know, mix it up and then I'll put it into, uh, it's, it's kind of like a natural, uh, antibiotic for chickens along with, um, you know, uh, the same thing as with, uh, uh, garlic yeah. is a natural antibiotic wow. for humans and for chickens. So. No, no, so we're just thinking but how in the world it. why in the world I, I don't I don't my mom never had one of those that I well no wait she did she had one but it was like the ones that you just use for show that are like those concrete you know those granite ones oh, yeah. that are like really really rough and it's like if you actually used it there's no way you'd be able to get any of the spice out of it because it's, it's just yes side. it would yeah. just embed itself so um uh, yeah, that's the kind that she had. And it had like that weird little rock pointy round. It looked like a teardrop. 
that was the thing that you used to grind it. But it was never used. No. I use mine all the time okay. to the point where it just sits on the counter. That's how much I use mine. So. And that's cool. That's that's really. I mean, why not? I, you know, I use a lot of, um, I use a lot of spices and stuff like that. You know, if we, if they legalized one spice, I would use it probably too. It's a greater shredder. Greater. Order, yeah. Greater, it, a greater and a shredder. And then the, uh, the, uh, the long one, I think she's right. is called the lim a lemon zester because you take the lemon and you go all the way along it. And you know, I never think of using lemon zest. I have all no. those citrus things. Yeah. And, this when I try it sometime. What do you use it on? What what, what do we use it what on? What do you use lemon zest on? You know, so they they add it to all sorts of different things, Excuse and they also me. add it on top of things like on a cake on a fancy cushion. cake. Yeah, so like they just you sugar on top there. Um, Thanksgiving coming up. Mm -hmm. We're uh, very fortunate to have been invited over to your brother's place. Mm -hmm. For Thanksgiving to see his uh, his new house, to see their new home, which is going to be very very cool. And I, I'm look as I said last week, I'm, I'm looking forward to. I just look forward to the food every year, no matter where we go. It's just that Thanksgiving and the Christmas foods are just really really good. Yes, well, and they make certain things that you look forward to. Right. Yeah. So here's the here's the thing: what America eats on Thanksgiving. So the new survey finds turkey will be the main dish in, at 86% of Thanksgiving meals this year. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the most popular side dish is a tie between stuffing and dressing and mashed potatoes at 75% each. Okay. You know, we can talk about our favorites here in a minute. Dinner rolls will be on 69% of tables. Mm -hmm. Cranberry sauce on 64. Sweet potatoes on 59%. And for dessert, nearly two thirds of Americans, sixty-six percent, will indulge in pumpkin pie. Okay. Okay. Now I see our percentage being a little bit different. Yeah, because we don't do pumpkin. Well, let's, we'll start start at the main meal here. We. Uh, turkey. Alex always likes ham. Likes ham. So the turkey and the ham. We're about a fit. I'm about a fifty-fifty. I don't know. I like the turkey. Okay. I'm a turkey girl. Because I get the ham and I get the mustard. You know, I want the, the turkey, the dressing. Mashed potatoes or noodles okay. is your thing, yeah. um, and mine. That's good. Justin really wants mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. So we usually do both. Um, we do the the those dinner rolls, but we do those you know those little cheap dinner rolls that you know you buy like the whole package for like ninety eight cents or something like that, yeah. <laughs> where you just put them in the oven and warm them. That's those yeah, are great. yeah, they're like little, little yeast yeast rolls. And then um, uh, the dressing, man. Oh, mmm. Yeah. And then our broccoli and rice. Yeah. Your mom's broccoli and rice mm -hmm. casserole. So I use my, oh my, my mom's. I use my mom's recipe for the dressing. For the dressing, and which has the, gizzards in it. Man, and, and then the broccoli casserole. Broccoli casserole is amazing. It's very good. Oh my gosh, I could just eat that and nothing else. And then uh, uh, Carla started the cream corn yes, thing. That's that not like typical cream corn. Now. You know, when I was young and, and with your mom and my mom, well, no, with your mom and my, and my, my Omi, um, they used to do the baked corn thing. I like that too. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like a, it's a German. I never was a big fan. Even though it's, it's, a, it's cream I, I should, corn. Should, it's the same thing. I should have loved it's it, but just, it's just, I don't know. It's just you, like, it's, I don't know. It just didn't look right to you. It's it's, it much. tastes almost exactly the same. It's my really taste, good. My taste buds have acquired. Have, have you probably changed. would like it now. Oh, I probably would love it now. Yeah, and then um, you know cranberries, you know, maybe it's just kind of from a, a can. This is kind of a sign. <laughs> if we like one from can. Canberries. Canberries, and canned cranberries, and um, what De else? Des uh, dessert. Dessert of wise, I mean, pumpkin pie. Oh, no, no, not no, pumpkin no, pie. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And uh, cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah. Uh, that's those are my, my two. Or I was never cookies. Okay, um, I was never I was never a pecan pie person. At did I all. turn you into a pecan yes, pie person? Yes, you did. And well, see, you know, it depends on the pecan pie because when I was young, my family would make the pecan pie that had a lot of gel to it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like it was like mostly gel. I like the one that's like pecan. I mean, you've got like so much pecan in it that that it's yeah. like you know. It's like candy. Uh, mm -hmm. so it was, that's uh, what I that's like. That's good. So those, those are, I mean, and, and 
Mm-hmm. We're looking so forward to it. You know, it's Are we be, making you hungry? It's going to be one day. And then, you know, we since we don't fix it here, there'll be no leftovers. No, I know. But we can fix it here for, for, for Christmas or for yeah. something. I don't think Taylor's coming down. If Taylor came down, I'd fix the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. But I wouldn't make it through the day. I'd have to fix it the day before. And then you get an apple all day the next day because of the amount of food that we eat. Oh gosh, yeah, it would be a three-day experience. It would be like, okay, cook all day, nap the rest of the day, then eat, then <laughs> no, then go to bed, and then wake up Christmas morning. No, cook, cook, um, and then nap for the rest of the day that you cook, and then eat the next day. Then nap for the rest of the day after you eat, and then, and then recover. And then open Christmas gifts the next. And then oh my gosh, so that's, yeah. So that's a three day process. That will be an interesting. Uh, it'll be an interesting year this year trying to figure out how yeah. to do all that it'll without be, crash and burn. It'll be, it'll be I was tired by the end of yeah last year. It's a lot to do. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a lot of uh, preparation and stuff. Now here's the here's the lady that didn't do a whole lot of prepping. She just didn't do a whole lot of thinking about it. Um, a woman in Germany, she totaled her car when she tried to eat a bowl of cereal while she was driving. She hit a parked car and, and a lamppost when she tried to pour the milk. Who eats? When she tried to pour the milk over. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. Who does that? Hey, it's, it wouldn't be so bad just, just kind of like scooping out of your you know, like no. pouring, pouring it into your mouth. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't even... Like, when you and I will go boxes. pick up, you and I will go to Dairy Queen, and we'll get, like, an ice cream cone or something like that, and you make me, just just eating the ice cream cone and driving, you make me so nervous. So, and you're a great driver, so I can't, people who eat and drive, like, you sometimes, like, you'll eat and drive, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're gonna, you know, this is just nerve-wracking. Yeah. Cereal? Seriously? Who cereal. in their right mind cereal would in use... A, in a bowl! She's got a bowl in her hand. I'm going to go ahead and... You know, she could be putting on her makeup and stuff. Like, in the mirror well, there's driving. a lot of women that, that do that. I don't do any of those things. In. I have a hard enough time focusing just with my eyes on the road and my hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. But she's just not a dry cereal person. She has if to someone's to talking to me, I will make a mistake. <laughs> So just like, don't talk. Just don't talk to me. Don't okay. don't. I have to completely focus. Okay, knees. Do your job with the steering wheel. Oh, while, see. While I, while I pour the milk into the bowl. Oh, <laughs> that that's oh. that's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Now I do remember one time, we were at the, the theater, or I was driving past, uh, or driving from Walmart or something, and there was this woman who went to like Burger King or or some place, fast food place, Burger King, I think. And um, she ate her food, and she put it all in the bag, and she didn't want to mess up her nice, pretty car, so she tossed the whole bag out the window. Mm. And I was like, seriously? Yeah, and there are plenty of videos, as you see, where you, where you see people that are sitting behind those folks will get out of their car, walk up to that bag, and throw it right back into the car. Oh, she was going onto the highway. Oh, gosh. I and I was that. like, seriously? Yeah. I thought that was, uh, you know, and and she was just this fancy lady in her fancy car with her fancy, you know, whatever, Mm -hmm. eating her, you know, fast food, and then chunks the whole thing in the bag, big old bag, out the window, because she didn't want the trash in her car, and was like, oh my God, lady, you're going to get it. it Karma's going to come back. It would be so neat if, if, uh, well, it would backfire on me, probably. If people could use their uh, their GoPros or whatever they have on their dash, and they, or they're taking the pictures of stuff mm-hmm. and things like that happen, that the people would actually get a ticket or something like that based on your your filming because you know it's kind of like it's, that's not a legend. Well, you know, the cameras are popping up everywhere. They're they're getting they're putting cameras on like every four way, uh, you know. Yeah area yeah, where there's lights, there's lights and, like and stuff that, yeah. they're they're putting cameras on the highway and stuff so you know people can't do you know yeah. that kind of stuff necessarily and get away with it as as much or won't be able to soon i mean because yeah. at some point they're going to just well what i've noticed know. is really i've noticed a lot of motorcyclists have the gopros on their helmets 
when they're, when oh, they're yeah. driving. So, and, and that's, Cameras everywhere, that people. Great, and that's great for them because it's, it's a little bit different situation with the motorcyclists because you have to watch out yeah. for not only you have to be careful for yourself, you got to watch out for the other car. For the other car and the road that there's no gravel or anything because it, yeah. So you know, when a car pulls out in front of you and. We hit gravel one time in his Goldwing. No, and it was a little. It, it just, it took that tire and it just did this sort of thing. It scared me yeah. to death. It yeah. was just crazy. Um, okay, so so tell them about your Echo Dot um, experience. Well, we can, we, can, we, can, we can experience it all <laughs> live this morning as well. Yes, we can. You want, you want to take it over to your side? Okay. I could actually plug her in here, but I don't have the thing set up for it yet. So. No, no, I've got it. I've got it okay. here. I've got it here. So we had an issue with, uh, at the beginning, with, uh, with her. With the, the dot. Uh, okay, first of all, it was my gift that I had gotten. And um, it in she wouldn't recognize me. She kept saying that it was a Bruce's, you know, I was Bruce or, you know. I didn't get any credit. It was just it was. Because you're on Bruce's account. Mm hmm And so, um, you know, because they can't say Bruce and Shannon's account, I guess. And anyway, um, so you know, finally I got her to recognize my voice. Yes. <laughs> and he had gone through this, the the steps to have his voice recognized, but I talk to her more than he does. Go figure. Go figure. I talk more. Oh, shocking. Oh, well. <laughs> so anyway. So uh, the other day he was saying something and um, she answered him with, uh, uh, you know, whatever question he asked her. And he said, she said, um, thank, you, thank, you, Shannon. thank you, Shannon. Have a nice day. <laughs> like, what the what so doing? we're going to show, we're going to show something. So, we went so ahead. is she on? She should be on, right? Yeah. So what we did was, first of all, we. So we re he tried to, I said, okay, let's reset her. Re reset your voice and so we went through all the steps and everything to reset her and um and then we went ahead and tested it and and okay, uh, so here, it's just like for example here uh, <laughs> hang on hang on hang on hang on um alexa oh she's i'm having trouble connecting to the internet just, just yeah. take, take a look at the help. everything is having trouble connecting to the internet lately so let's, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just, uh, you <laughs> know, our, 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 our location is, is just not the most ideal when it comes to internet and stuff like that. But yeah, there's we, a lot of things the, that we'll so when we're out broadcasting, We may not be able here. to show what she does. Yeah, when we're out broadcasting mm -hmm. to, to, the, to the world here, um, I, am, I am so fortunate that my internet is, does what it does at least. So it, it's... Yeah, it's well, aesthetic. it holds on to the stations better than it holds on to. Yes, but we have a lot of things. Everybody uses everything goes through a Wi-Fi. So system. Friday, while we're waiting for that, Friday, uh, we're getting close to lunchtime here. And I wanted to shout out to a couple of our sponsors that we've got going on. We have uh, Pops Barbecue, if you're in the mood for some barbecue. They're open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're there. the ones that have the great banana pudding. Yes, they do. They're off of 1101 in Francis Terrace, right out past the, uh, the New Braunfels, uh, Kamau County landfill, right out by Fry Height, right past that direction. And uh, stand out there and take good care of you. He's got great food. And uh, his daughter also has that coffee shop that's right out there. So give them a, a go. Uh, if you're in town and not wanting to maybe go that direction today, it's totally up to you. We've got or if you're like more in the mood instead of barbecue, you're more in the mood for like chicken fried steak. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, with yeah. round potatoes or something, you know? Yep. Um, or mashed potatoes and and just like home, cook, like that, oh goodness. Okay. Like when you were a kid and you used to go out and have that home cooked like restaurant food. Anyway. Um, the Old River City Cafe right off of 725. Is excellent. It is fantastic. So if you want that the, the old country atmosphere mm -hmm. and stuff like that, that's where you want to go. Uh, so those are those are my only two food right now. My only two food. Only two food. Oh no no no. Well, no, I actually have. Uh, uh, if you now the, if you're in the mood for some Mexican food for for lunch. Too, oh yeah. You can also go to El Napolito, which is on the loop. Yes. Food excellent food breakfast food. tacos. Excellent um, Mexican food, and just like priced really really well and. Um, 
Yeah. If you live in New Braunfels, you know what the knop is. We just call it the knop. Everybody knows what it is. Typically, I will, we won't uh, combine advertisements for three restaurants back to back to back. But because we're doing this live and we've only just started coming up, so three it's all different all three type different of things. things. So, okay, so let's see if she's working now. Alexa, who am I? I'm talking to Sharon. This is Bruce's account. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna disappoint me now. Uh, Alexa, who am I? I'm talking to Sharon. This is Bruce's account. She's that's why I unplug her most of the time because she's just not very. You just don't talk to her enough. <laughs> I don't talk to her enough, so she we just she just doesn't recognize my voice. She doesn't recognize my voice as if it was originally on there. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, Benny. Okay, this video you're going to be able to put on your... I've got like... I'm doing the whole radio show here on your... Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll put that. Yeah, so we, uh, I'll just let you have it. You can put it on okay. your face. Well, so, so, what she's talking about there is we also have Texas 46 Radio and The Rock Vault together on a YouTube, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. So, channel. Uh, channel. <laughs> channel. So, you can go over there and check out uh, videos from... Texas 46 radio and from the rock ball there's interviews uh, all the chicken segments are all mm -hmm. on there chicken, uh, of the weeks. chicken of the weeks are all on there and it's just going to be building as we go yeah and it's going to be growing um you know and I do a uh, a video diary most of the time I don't have any makeup on I'm in pajamas and I'm like in the kitchen with my coffee first thing in the morning just like you know mm -hmm. um and then, then sometimes, and then, and then, <laughs> and then sometimes, uh, Bruce joins me and he and I both together do like a little morning video and talk about silly things. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a, a 30 minute version of, uh, the morning show, but video. Like pre, and so like pre, he's, pre yeah, so he's, so, so that goes on to, uh, either my channel or his channel. And so, uh. We should just link all the channels. That would be good. Well, if we can figure out how to how to do that, we'll, we may, may give it a go. But see, if you tell me to go by and check out anytime any of those videos, uh, interviews that I may have done on the Rock Channel or the Country Channel, and then again, our Chicken of the Week segments are on here. And please, when you do go over there, uh, subscribe. You know. We, oh yes, please. Yeah. So he couldn't recognize. My brothers said she couldn't recognize your voice. <laughs> yeah. I know. I hate that. Like when we do this on the radio, oh, if you're listening to it ah, live ah, ah. without like headphones or something like that, your your dot's gonna go off too. <laughs> your echo That's dot's right. gonna go off too. So his uh, his brothers um, dot didn't recognize your voice uh -huh. um, either, <laughs> but did it say it was Shannon? Um, and Megan says you should you should try it again, but not use a high pitch when you ask who. Uh, okay. Who. <laughs> and you, and use a high, okay. Tell Bruce to ask again who he is, um, but make sure he doesn't make his voice do the high note when he says who. I think that's funny. Okay. I don't want him to. I want him to. Okay. Yeah. Alexa, who am I? Bruce is speaking. You're in Bruce's account. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Is my voice that feminine? High five, Megan. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you talk like a man. And then she'll recognize you. Okay. So I'll go, I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're in Bruce's account. <laughs> to teach me to recognize your voice. Just say, Alexa, learn my voice. Okay, now we understand, now we understand how that works. Oh, how funny. That's hilarious. That is so funny. He still did the high note, though. <laughs> yeah, no, well, no. but she recognized she him, so it. he's happy. He's happy now. We're all in a good world he's today. Excited. I am ecstatic. He's ecstatic. And not only that, my mouse stopped working. Your mouse? Your mouse? Your mouse stopped working. Yes, it did. 
Okay, so I'm at 39 minutes on my video here, and it is 11.43, um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and sign out on my video, and um, the video that I'm doing, you know, we've got radio and video going at the same time, so I'm going to sign out on my video, and uh, close that up, and then Bruce and I are going to finish the last 15 minutes of the show, or whatever, I'm sure there's... Uh, I don't know if he got any more information about the worst fest thing. But anyway, um, y'all have a great day on this video. So, um, bye. Bye. <laughs>